Uh, two-step, you know, this is something that's spectacularly different, and uh, I think people will see the difference. And people will go home with more money in the pocket because they're not going to be losing in the casino. Right, they'll be, you know, I told Jerry that if he got the Texas legislature to allow him to put Baccarat tables in the stadium, because he has plenty of room, that nobody could compete with him. That's, of course, far-fetched. That's not going to happen. Uh, you know, and I think that there is room for Las Vegas to do big fights. But once every big fight goes to Las Vegas, you demean the sport and you hurt the sport, and that's not good. Do you think Manny will ever fight Floyd? I really don't think so, no. I think that Floyd is not anxious to fight Manny. He'll continue to try to dictate. And Manny is a Filipino, and anybody who spent time around Filipinos know that they can't be bullied. Now, I gotta ask you this. New York has more Jews than Israel and more Puerto Ricans than Puerto Rico. So, break it down. Miguel Cotto, you reform it. Well, with the help of, uh, of John Duddy, who'll be on the card to bring in some Irish fans, we should do pretty well in Yankee Stadium. And what do you think about Yuri Foreman? I think Yuri Foreman is a, tremendous, he's a tremendous guy. I mean, really wonderful young man. And he's a terrific fighter. And he and Cotto is an even fight. And I'm really looking forward to that fight happening. Thank you very much. Bob. Uh, there has been some talk about post uh, post Pacquiao, Claudie. What is, how's the status on Margarito? Do you think that Margarito is in the running to maybe get a fight with Pacquiao in the fall if Mayweather falls apart? I think that's definitely a possibility. Uh, if uh, Mosley upsets Mayweather, that's a possibility. Shane is not difficult to deal with. Uh, and uh, a big possibility is watch this little guy from Venezuela. Well, Edwin Valero, would that be a fight? Would be. Woo. But talking about, uh, just real fast, it's, uh, the Dallas is going to be the biggest stadium, I think, a boxing uh, it has been in years. Uh, one thing is that the whole Mayweather-Pacquiao thing, do you think that's going to negatively affect the pay-per-view buy rates? No, I don't think so. I think people now know uh, Manny Pacquiao, and they know what he brings to the table, and they know that every Manny Pacquiao fight is going to be exciting particularly when he's in with a really competitive, strong guy like Joshua Clotty. So people don't want to miss that because they know they can have a party in their house and they can watch a really entertaining fight. And, and that's what people want to be. They want to be entertained. You know, Mayweather is a tremendous defensive specialist, but he's not particularly entertaining in the ring. Yeah, you wouldn't expect Larry Merchant to pull Pacquiao aside and ask if uh, the fans were entertained like what he did with when Mayweather fought Baltimore. Oh, with Larry Merchant knows that it's a given with Manny Pacquiao, they're going to be entertained. And that's why once he's been exposed as he has been to the American public, that's why he's going to be a, a pay-per-view star. Whoever he fights, as long as he's fighting somebody who's competitive. Mm. Uh, real fast about Edwin Valero, there's been a lot of talk about him either with uh, Tim Bradley, Lamont Peterson's been mentioned, but nothing concrete. Has there been any recent developments about Edwin Valero probably coming back? In yeah, this, in he, he, I, he should be getting his visa shortly. As soon as he does, we're going to set up a fight with Lamont Peterson and... Uh, uh, let's see. Valero could be down the line a huge, huge opponent for Manny Pacquiao. Okay, Bob, thank you very much.